in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this cute little holiday snowman using baubles. Um, everything that I used for this tutorial is from the Dollar Tree, so it's really accessible and super, super easy to make. Great for kids this holiday season. So let's go ahead and get started. For this project, you will need a hot glue gun or some kind of quick drying adhesive like E6000. Um, but I chose hot glue so I had this heating up on the side so it is ready for me. You will need a large bobble and a small bobble. I got these from the Dollar Tree so they are shatterproof, they are plastic, and they will melt if you are not careful. Glass would be ideal, um, but the shatterproof plastic ones are cheaper. Um, you will also need some kind of filler. Um, I got this from the Dollar Tree too. Um, it's like little foam balls to mimic some kind of a fake snow, so I will be using this. But you can also use something like, like buffalo snow. Um, I got this from Walmart and it's like a plastic kind of stuff that mimics fake snow too. So this would be to go inside of the bubbles. You don't want to spray snow on the inside. Um, so anything like this or the little foam balls would work perfect for this. And then I'm going to be using some black puffy paint for my eyes. You can also use it for buttons too. You can get colored puffy paint. Um, but if you have some kind of gems or pearls, that would be perfect for this. Um, but because I don't have any black ones and I want a black, I just got black puffy paint. And you get more product for your money that way. Um, you also need some kind of pom-poms or buttons. Um, I got pom-poms from the Dollar Tree, so I'm going to be using these. Um, you're going to need some craft foam. I also got this from the Dollar Tree. Um, you will need orange, and there's orange in this pack, so that's perfect. You can use felt too if you want. It's all up to preference, really, or what you have on hand. Uh, some kind of ribbon or fabric. I'm just going to be using ribbon. I also got this from the Dollar Tree. So it's just to prove that you can do almost any craft just from the Dollar Store. Um, and then I got these from the Dollar Store too. It was quite a while back and I kind of bought them out back then. Um, but it's a pack of like little wooden, it says pine, um, like little plaques. And there's like four in a pack. So I'm going to be using this as a base for my snowman. And then you will also need some kind of paint, um, white paint or um, fake spray snow. I got this from Walmart. It was about a dollar or two, so that's pretty cheap. Um, I'm going to be using this, but white uh, paint is just as fine, uh, white puffy paint, anything like that that would mimic the color or the look of snow. And then we are going to take our bobbles and take the top piece off. You don't even have to worry about the tag because you're just going to take the full piece off, set it off to the side, and do the same thing with the smaller one. And then you're going to fill these up with whatever snow that you're going to use. I'm going to use little pom-pom things, um, and I'm going to put it into the bottom piece um, only. You can do this separated too if you want to. It's all up to you. So you can put some in the head and some in the body. You can fill it all the way up if you want. So like put it in here and put it in here. I think I'm going to try and fill it all the way up because I think that would look really, really cool. But these fit in here perfectly. Just, just so you can see that. Um, but I made a previous mistake by um, putting the glue around the rim and I was ready to stick it together. But I didn't put anything in these yet. So... Um, I'm going to open up my my little balls here, and I have a feeling this is going to make a horrible, horrible mess because these things, they static to each other. Oh, you know what? This is actually really easy. So this would be perfect for kids. Like if you have a whole bunch of people come over for the holidays and the kids get bored. Still kind of making a mess though. So I'm actually going to put, I think I'm just going to fill this up. Yep, still going to have to vacuum, making a mess. Oh, oh, gonna get too full. 
Look at all this. I should have put the plate underneath me. <laughs> or I should have grabbed another plate. Just, just like, scoop them. Just scoop them. Back. Back balls. Back. <laughs> Alright, so here is my filled um, bobble. I'm going to stick the hot glue around the rim here. Carefully. Alright. And then stick the headpiece on. Make sure it's secure. I'm going to put a couple couple dabs. Dab a long little corner piece just to make sure it holds. Alright, and then I'm just going to shake some down into the head. Okay, so you're going to take your wooden plank and then just hot glue your snowman onto it. Press down firmly because you want to make sure it won't go anywhere. Um, now what I previously have just learned, which is actually really sad, um, the fake snow stuff takes a long time to dry. Because I tried to stick the snowman on it and it didn't want to stick. So. That has to dry completely. At least there's an, an area for a snowman to go into. I guess that's a plus. Um, but here is our snowman with my boring, boring base. See how it's just, it's attached. He's not even even. That is okay. Alright, so we are going to take our craft foam, put Mr. Snowman off to the side. All these little foam balls are everywhere. Okay, so we are going to take our craft foam or these little balls stay back back they keep coming towards me because my desk is uneven <laughs> so we're gonna take our crap foam or felt or anything of that nature and we're just going to cut a little nose out so kind of figure out what size you want your nose to be and then just kind of cut the little triangle out and that is his nose. Now there's a whole sheet and pack still available for me to use for other projects. And then we are going to stick this on his face because this is his nose. His little carrot nose. And be careful because craft foam um, it will shrivel up if something is too hot. Kind of looks like a beak. Alright, so I'm going to take the pom poms next. And awesomely enough, I can open these on the bottom. And I think I'm going to use green and red for his little boot hands. Alright, so I'm going to stick some glue on the pom-pom. And stick it on Mr. Snowman. Mr. Snowman. Mr. Snowman! Bring me a dweebs! Cause you're the cutest snowman that I've ever seen. The little pom-pom guys are going to keep coming. Okay, so I'm just going to tie it around his neck. As if it was a scarf. If you had some kind of like plaid ribbon or something like that, or plaid fabric, that would be perfect. But because I don't have that, I'm just making do with what I have. Okay, 
also these little balls are like everywhere. Um, and then I'm going to cut this here and cut this one there. And then I don't like how this one keeps going up, so I'm gonna put a little dab. Dab. Haha, <laughs> dab. The. I'll be quiet now. <laughs> I'm just gonna stick that down because I don't want it to move. I'm gonna do the same thing with this one because I don't want these to be moving all over the place. Like these little balls, you see? <laughs> I don't want to be moving all over the place like these little balls. I said you just put them on the floor. Just go on the floor because I'm gonna have to vacuum you guys all up anyways. Okay, so here's our little snowman. Um, you can make a little hat or something too. I actually might do that. Um, and then, I don't know, I might include that into the video, I'm not quite sure. But I'm going to make his little itty bitty face. Okay, so next up I'm going to make his, um, eyeballs with the puffy paint. If you have something else you can use that if you have gems, um, but I don't, so I'm just going to use puffy paint to make little, little eyeballs. Hopefully these are even. Please be even. Oh, they're they're crooked. <laughs> they're crooked. That's okay. That's okay. I still I still love you, Mr. Snowman. Um but this is just what he looks like. Super, super cute. I'm gonna shake some of this down with his head. This is a little morbid, actually. But super cute! Oh, so cute! Alright, but thank you guys so much for watching. I super appreciate it. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Um, all the links um, for all of the 12 Days of Christmas videos will be at the end in the outro, so make sure that you check them all out because I love doing this every single year. It's something that I really look forward to, to come up with new crafts to show you guys. Um, so I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to hit the beautiful red button down below, the subscribe button. It's free. It keeps you guys updated. Shows me that I'm doing a good job when my subscriber number goes up. Um, so I will see you guys in the next video. I love you so much. Bye-bye!